हेलो टू ऑल द लिटिल चैम्स दिस इज़ रोहन सॉ फ्रॉम मेहदी इंग्लिश मीडियम स्कूल एंड टुडे आई वेलकम माय सेकंड स्टैंडर्ड स्टूडेंट्स टू टूडेज ग्रामर क्लास एंड इन टूडेज ग्रामर क्लास द कंटेंट विल बी एज फॉलोज द कंटेंट ऑफ टूडेज लेक्चर इज सिंपल प्रेजेंट टेंस विच इज चैप्टर सेवन विच वी जस्ट स्टार्टेड in the previous lecture if you have watched the previous lecture and again and again i keep on telling you that just follow the videos properly follow the instructions given within the videos understand and watch the video very carefully because if you will not understand here if you will just watch the video as if you are just watching the television it will be of no use so firstly i would like to congratulate the one those who have got the doubt because they have got the doubt only when they have tried to solve on their own and i would request to all the other students those who don't have any doubt i appreciate them too few of them might be knowing everything that's why they don't have any doubt and there are a couple of students those who are just watching the video just to watch it like a television so that will not help you my dear students because again we are not going to repeat the content though we are going to do revision but it will be in the way of revision not in the way of explanation i hope you understand this seriousness of the lectures and i hope that you are going to watch it very carefully because why am i making you serious because the chapter which we have started simple present tense you are going to face this chapter till your 10th standard and throughout the life wherever you want to speak english because tenses makes your sentence formation perfect so unless you don't have the grip on the tenses you you would not have the good command over the english language so i request to those who are not otherwise paying attention please watch the video lectures regularly what will happen if you will watch it regularly you will get regularly update like your phone needs update update uh, sometimes you update your phone it needs updation right similarly this needs to be updated daily and what else we are going to do again we are going to understand what is simple present tense as we did in the previous lecture yes because uh, it is like as much as you will revise it it will be like in your mind it will be clear and precise in your mind and then again what is verb we are going to the revision of the same further the verbs the way the verbs are used in the tenses we are going to relate that which otherwise you are having some basic knowledge now we are going to go into the depth of the topic to further exercises means based on that exercises we are going to solve yesterday we solved and today few more exercise questions we are going to solve it so i hope that you are watching it and you will watch it keenly with a keen interest and i will also get the feedback the follow up teachers will also get the feedback let's get started okay so as i told you that this chapter is very very much important to build your proper base we already have reached to the last exercise yesterday in yesterday's lecture but still throughout this lecture we are again going to revise simple present tense and also wherever you need you can just note it down in your book the formula the hint whatever i give you you can note it down if you want correct and yes i know that yesterday we have reached till the last exercise but i feel that as much as we will revise the basic further you will not have to face the problem in case if you are you know learning or you are uh, trying to understand the bit uh, high level tenses and at the end after the revision and explanation of uh, simple present tense we are just going to see the previous chapters the glimpses of previous chapters so that in case if you watch this video you will at least get the idea of the chapters till the date we have done so here simple present tense yesterday i explained you the meaning of 
tense so here just repeat whenever i ask you to do so here i wrote the meaning of tense yesterday in yesterday's lecture so here if you can see that the meaning of tense is time so now dear students repeat after me please tense is means time repeat second time tense is means time i insist you to repeat third time tense is means time yes i am not asking you to learn it by repeating it you will be very much clear in your mind that what is tense and here furthermore i solved three photo sentences or i should say that the sentences with the photos and then the remaining three i kept for you so today i am going to solve these three as well so if even if you have solved you will be able to verify your answers that whether you have solved it is it correct or is it incorrect so the first photo on the right hand side is the sentence says that my friend bakes delicious cookies so here my dear friends what is the verb i hope that you remember that in these warm up exercise uh, sentences we need to highlight the verb we need to underline the verb so first you need to understand what is verb that is what i explained you yesterday but still for the revision sake i will explain it again verb means action word the action you do or any doing word or anything you do any activity that is even the verb even if you sit you are sitting it is a verb even if you are sleeping that is a verb that is the process yes you sleep again you wake up so sleeping is even counted as verb here so i hope that you now know what is verb but still i will write it so even if you want to take photo or any screenshot or any if you want to make any notes you can make it easily verbs means action or doing word clear enough so i have just related here i have just kept it a uh, formula here verb means action or doing words okay so this you need to remember every time because i also told you that verb will be the main part of the tenses correct in the tenses i'll show it to you further what is the sentence formation and how you need to play with it but here first you need to understand verb means action or doing words still many of you even don't know what is the meaning of verb so that it, it was very much necessary for me to show it to you so here my friend bakes delicious cookies so what is the friend doing what is the action that the friend is doing my friend bakes to bake something correct is an action so here the answer will be bakes so you need to underline that here i have just highlighted it in my way okay second picture is here if you can read it i love chocolates now here love is verb why to love something to love chocolates is also an action you are loving it correct it is not necessary that you do physical action action may be of even heart and mind correct you think it is also verb it is action of mind again so make sure you are very clear over that what is verb and so here i love chocolates love is a verb what is next if you can see in the picture we play football on sundays what do we do what action play football is the name of that action the name of the game correct but what they do what do they do they play so play is again verb because it is an action obviously it is a physical action okay so let us move on further now then after that i explained you 
when I solved this, these three first, uh, you know, first three photos, first three sentences, then I explained you what is simple present tense. Again, I would like to explain it to you, and I would like to repeat. I would ask you to repeat whenever I, uh, you know, feel it. It is necessary. So here, the verbs you underline tells us about something that happens as a routine or habit. So. Just repeat after me whenever I ask you here. I'm going to write uh, something which is very much important. Just routine and uh, okay. So here it is going to be uh, routine. Okay. So first thing is routine. Second, habit. Correct. Which is there in the uh, this uh, definition, and the third thing which I want to add is which yesterday or even I showed it to you is universal fact. Correct. So here, children, I have brought something which is very much necessary. Like yesterday, after solving the sentences. I explained you what is simple present tense, right? There, the routine and habit, the sentences of simple present tense, will be either routine or habit. It was there in the formula, but here, which the thing I have added is universal fact. Even simple present tense sentences are universal fact. So these three are very much important. So you have to repeat after me now. So start repeating. Routine, habit. And universal fact. Now repeat a second time. Routine, habit, and universal fact. Okay. So actually, you need to understand. Sometimes, okay, this is the first type of tense for you. So you will not get confused. You will be okay, sir. It is routine, habit, universal fact. But as soon as you will be familiar with, as soon as you will be asked to be familiar with the other types of tenses, you. Will have to get the hint to recognize each of them, to separate each of them, how to differentiate them, how to, how the features, how the distinguished features they are having. You need to recognize it very correctly. So I hope this much is very much clear to you. This was important. Moving on, and then we solved exercise one where you had to underline the verbs in the sentences. Again, I would like to solve three to four sentences and to explain you as of. The revision part. Here, I would like to solve first this one. As I explained you this in detail today, again in the warm-up exercise, monkeys love bananas. Now, like I said, action should not only be physical, where we count it verb. No, action is action. Correct. Even it is of brain, even it is of heart. It depends. Correct. So here, the action is of heart. Correct. Because monkey loves banana. If you you know that if You uh, offer banana to monkeys. How happy they will be! They are known for that. Correct? You can't even go near to them if you have bananas in your hand. Yes, especially in the city where the monkeys are like uh, everywhere. So here, monkey loves banana. So here, what is the verb? Love, because they love it. So it is even counted as a verb. Correct? Monkey loves banana. So if you have solved this and if you have this answer. I very I'm very much I'll be very much happy that you have at least try to solve it. Okay. Fine. Now uh, here, then further I want to um, solve this one. If I will highlight, you will be easily able to see it. Okay. Father takes the dog for a walk every morning. So now students again verb means action. Or any doing word, whatever he is doing. So, what what does the father do with the dog? For a walk, he takes the dog for the walk. So, what what is the verb here? Correct. Even to take is a verb, and walk is a verb. Correct. As you will be confused for that. So, takes is the verb here because he takes the dog. What action is he doing? What is he doing? He is taking the dog. Correct. For the walk every morning. So here it is. Uh, it is specified that he takes, correct? So you might be confused for this. That's why I solved this. Okay. I hope it's clear enough. And the next I would like to solve here is. Okay. Um, this one is very easy. 
जो प्लेस टेनिस सो हियर इफ यू कैन नोटिस दैट इज एस इज एडेड एट दी एंड ऑफ द वर्ड प्ले करेक्ट एज द जो इज अ बॉय सो वी नो दैट ओके वी विल रिवाइज इट अगेन बट वी नो दैट ही शी इट करेक्ट सो वी नीड टू एड एस सो जो इज अ बॉय सो जो प्लेज टेनिस नाउ वॉट इज द वर्ब हियर एग्जैक्टली वॉट इज ही डूइंग टेनिस नो टेनिस इज नॉट द वर्ब लेट मी टेल यू फॉर दोज हु हैव मिसकनसेप्शंस टेनिस इज नॉट द वर्ब बट हियर द वर्ब इज प्लेज ओके वॉट इज ही प्लेइंग देन इट इज टेनिस बट वॉट एक्शन इज ही डूइंग ही इज प्लेइंग सो प्लेज इज द वर्ब हियर सिमिलरली आई थिंक ऑलमोस्ट ऑफ लाइक कपल ऑफ दैम आई लेफ्ट फॉर यू बट ऑलमोस्ट ऑल आई हैव सॉल्व हियर एंड देन फर्दर वी मूव ऑन टू दिस table there were three tables with the three different lo- rules here the first table indicates that with he she it with a singular first person sorry singular third person singular third person so he she it is singular third person we use we just add s at the end correct with the verb so even if you remember my dear students i wrote the formula here again i would like to uh, write it for you he she it if there is he she it or we should say that any name correct so this is or so or any name what do we do we just add s or es with the verb okay so this is what i even taught you yesterday if in the sentence if in the subject part there is he she it or any name like if it is rohan obviously it means he okay so here now repeat after me my dear students he she it or name we need to add s or es with verb repeat a second time he she it or name we need to add s or es with verb clear enough so here there is he she it so we added s and like i was uh, telling you i just stopped it from the middle so like i was telling you that if there is rohan obviously we considered he because he is a boy if there is sakina we obviously consider it is she because she is a girl if it is anything animal we use uh, it as a pronoun in place of the animal or anything correct so i hope this is clear for you so this here it is given that the definition is given i will bring it in the center part so it is here given that we usually add s to the verbs when we use it with the singular noun or the pronouns he she and it this is just what i explained you now okay then further we studied the second table correct in which if you can see okay let me just highlight the he she it part if you can see my dear students here they made the plural they just did not add added the s they added es so here this table shows the second rule to make it plural now again if there is he she it we need to add es in the words now in which words here it is clearly written in the uh, definition in the instruction that for verbs ending with o ch sh double s x and z that is z we add es with the singular noun or the pronoun he she it correct so again the uh, first half part is same if it is name or he she it now second half part is we need to add es now in the first uh, part i showed you I, i i just asked you to write the formula s or es correct now here where to add es detail explanation is given yes at the first time when i asked you to write formula obviously you might have gotten question in your mind that sir okay we understood where to add s what about es 
so here it is you need to remember this anyhow okay repeat after me my dear students just repeat after me carefully verbs ending with o c h s h double s x and z again repeat verbs ending with o c h s h double s x and z we add es now let me show it to you here i'll just write this uh, with a big font size so that you can understand it very clearly mm, here it is the first example i have written to explain it to you now see my dear students in the in the sent it is in the definition is given that the words verbs ending with o so g o go ends with the verb o so we need to add es correct so we added es so the go became goes he goes to school daily she goes to school daily yes so this is how we are going to work it out now again the second example if you see just to compare it with the definition i'm just writing it here watch okay let me just erase the first data so that i can get a space okay so you can if you can see here students watch will become watches correct why it happened now again the same thing ch it is there in the list so this the watch ends with ch two alphabets ch so we need to add es this way if you remember these uh, thing o c h s h double s x z only six uh, extensions are there if you remember that this will be just a piece of cake for you i must say means very much easy for you okay the third uh, kind of rule is how and when do we add ies again in the case of he she it when do we add ies so only when for the verbs ending with y we remove y and add ies when we use it with a singular noun or the pronoun he she or it i repeat for the verbs ending with y we remove the y and add ies when we use it with a singular noun or the pronoun he she it so only with y so if you say say for an example dry d r y so it will become dries d r i e s he dries it and second example if i give it to you is f l y fly it will become flies f l i e s because it ended with y so lots of examples are there so here only when we use it with the singular or the pronoun he she it correct so i hope this much is very clear it clear to you and uh, also we discussed this orange box let me just highlight it okay for verbs having a vowel before y we add s so we added s in the first part of the rules we just added s to make it plural but why do we add this because the vowel before y if there is a vowel before y for example if i say d a y okay so let me put it over here so here before y there is a vowel remember vowels a e i o u so these five are the vowels a e i o u so here you can see a vowel a before y so this rule says the same if there is a vowel before y we just add s correct because you might be confused students that if the word uh, if the word ends with y and we have to replace it with i e s why don't we say days is d d a i e s correct so there is a difference if there is a vowel before y we just add s and if there is a consonant before y we replace y with i e s okay clear enough i hope that is clear clear very much clear to you okay so after that what have we done we just solve the second 
exercise let me solve one or two more for you and then i'll show you the glimpse of whatever we have done till today whatever chapters we have done last three chapters okay so here if you can see that the let me say this j sometimes dash sour oranges or sour oranges so j sometimes dash sour oranges here in the bracket eat is given and what is j j is a name of a boy correct so ultimately we call we we can put a pronoun as he so even if it is a name or any pronoun what do we have to do we have to add s correct so j sometimes eat eats sour oranges j sometimes eats sour oranges because it was j we added s with the eat word okay then what about uh, i can say that uh, this one she dashed the remote in the drawer so she puts because he she ate i hope uh, again remember that rule he she ate we need to add s with the verb here is the verb and we added s so she puts the remote in the drawer okay and one more i think this you might be having in a doubt plants dash water and sunlight to grow plants need why because plants are already in the plural form if you say plants a plant needs but if it is already plants here it's a plural form we only have to put as it is the verb plants need plants needs no that is not proper plants need water and sunlight to grow that is the correct answer so if you have done that i will congratulate you in advance okay so now with this our chapter number 7 is also over now let me just give you the glimpse of whatever we have done till the date the last three chapters so if you say that here for the fifth chapter we have done verbs which again i repeated in the chapter of tenses so verbs now you know is a doing words then we solved even the exercises the picture exercises of the verbs so if you have not done it please make sure you do you will do it still if you have any doubt you have the time period of 5 to 6 in the evening to call me and then i would say that we done we have done the adjectives which is the describing word what does it describes nouns so adjective is a describing word which, which describes the noun we solved the exercises i explained you the formula uh, the many formulas and many hints also have given to you for that and we solved the first exercise where you had to just circle the one which describes you means you you have to do it on your own this doesn't have, we cannot have any perfect answer for this this you have to uh, circle as per your descriptions correct and then we solved the second exercise as well so this and then we solved uh, exercise 2 i think that i only just kept one or two uh, photos and sentences for you to solve it also in the third exercise we uh, we had to just select the adjective from this box and we need to fit it perfectly into the blanks and then we need to make the full sentence in the fourth exercise we had to read the poem and circle the adjectives this also merely i have done then we just solved simple present tense tech so today second time i explained you what is tense what is simple present tense what is included routine habit universal fact and then i also explain you what is verb then we solved uh, then we solved the exercises again okay and then also not only exercise but today i again explained you the three rules where to add s where to add es and where to add ies okay so with this our chapter number 7 is also over precisely i have explained everything make sure that you have to practice now now the ball is in your court whether to goal it or not it is in your hands now and lastly i would like to thank you for watching the video to my dear students and i hope that this video will be very much important for you you will watch it again and again as in this video clearly i have managed to include the topics and explanations which i 
have not done in the previous lecture. So, keep practicing unless you want practice, you won't be able to solve it on your own. Please make sure you solve it on your own and do not learn the fill in the blanks or anything because this grammar subject is of all about practice not learning. Lastly, stay home, stay safe, take care of yourself and of your family too. Goodbye.